comments yes sir you are audible so that we can start our session <coughs> So I hope you are aware every Tuesday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. we are running this CMAT 100 most expected questions general awareness series. Uh, this is the part 4. So we have already done part 1, 2 and 3. Okay. So where do you find the part 1, 2 and 3? So on the uh, same YouTube channel, go to the playlist. You can playlist here. So you can click on the view full playlist per, and you will get the full entire playlist. Please go and watch all the videos. That would be very, very important for you. And uh, one more is that here, uh, if you playlist, if you go to so here, general knowledge, ka bhi, we have uh, done almost 34 classes. So, if you see, so 34, 35 classes, we have done it. So, at least last ka 10 to 15 classes, dekh lena, because here we have discussed some current affairs and all. So, that would also be very, very beneficial. Uh, let's uh, start with the first question. So, in this class, we'll be discussing previous year question plus previous year question related topic because they get actually things gets repeated ah so basically uh, or in line with the previous year question i would say so there'll be question which is uh, related with what cmat is generally asking okay so i'll be uh, following those uh, actually trends and all so the first question says who wrote the book paradoxical prime minister so actually two books were very famous a uh, few years back one was actually called as uh, uh, accidental prime minister he was famous the accidental prime minister. In fact, there was a film on it also. And that was written by Mr. Sanjay Baru. And uh, the accidental prime minister was about Mr. Manmohan Singh, the prime minister of India earlier. And, uh, and this paradoxical prime minister has been written by, yes, option C, Shashi Tharoor. Yes, Bhano Agarwal, you are right. And this has been written by Mr. Shashi Tharoor for uh, actually about the prime minister modi okay so yes a question though in news metha so this actually was coming in the news and that is why they asked this question okay so since it is coming so similar type of question i have decided to put for you here as well like why bharat matters is a book written by whom this is very much trending so it's very very important shiv kumar sarin s jay shankar vijay gokhale arindam bakchi what is the right answer to this question Badaiye. why bharat matter ye kafi trend may be uh, news mein uh, is a book written by whom? It's very, very important. I'm uh, star marking this. Bataye. Yes, Mayank Kumar Moore, you're right. Uh, Mr. S. J. Shankar, uh, the foreign minister of India. Okay. So, B is the right answer. Uh, so, he has written one book in 2020, uh, The India Way, uh, Strategies for an Uncertain World. And in 2024, he has written a book, Why Bharat Matters. So, this is a little chance for us, because this is the recent one in 2024 he has uh, written. So, that is why it becomes more important. So, B is the right answer. Yes, Banu Agarwal, you are also right. Anandi Kanabar, you are right. Huh? So, B is the right answer. Uh, let's move on to the next one, the question number three. 11 rules for life, secrets to level up, has been written by whom? Salman Rajdi, Radhika Session, Chetan Bhagat, Ankur Bariko. Who wrote this book? 11 rules for life, secrets to level up. These all are recent books, okay? And that is why I'm asking from here. Please answer it. Uh, the right answer actually is option C. Chetan Bhagat is the right answer, okay? Uh, you know, book like a do epic shit karke book hai karke na? Is tarah karke Ankur Variko ke book hai na? So here the right answer is C. 11 rules for life, secrets to level up uh, has been written by Chetan Bhagat. And this is a recent book. Yes, Bhano Garwal, Mayank Kumar, you all are right. Option C is the right answer to this question okay so let's move on to the next one that is question number four which says sachin at 50 celebrating a maestro is a book written by whom amitav ghosh boria majumdar anuja chauhan rahul dravid what is the right answer to this question sachin at 50 celebrating a maestro is a book written by whom yes very good mayank kumar boria majumdar is the right answer to this question take care so, you can see it. Boria Majumdar is an author of this book, Sachin at 50, Celebrating a Maestro. So, the right answer is B is the right answer. Yes, Bhanu Agarwal, you are also right. Very good. Let's move on to the next one, the question number five, which says, Smoke and Ashes, a writer's journey through OPM's hidden histories, has been written by whom? Your options are Jhumpa Lahiri, Amitav Ghosh, Arundhati Roy, Salman Rajdi. What is the right answer to this question? Smoke and Ashes, come say with other cleaner, smoke and ashes. A writer's journey through OPM's hidden history, but smoke and ashes is a book written by whom? What is the right answer? 
आई एम वेटिंग फॉर योर रिस्पॉन्स ओके द राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अमिताभ घोष ठीक है अमिताभ घोष है ना स्मोक एंड एक्शन राइटर जर्नी थ्रू ओपीएम्स हिडन हिस्ट्रीज है ना सो बी इज द राइट आंसर यस बानु अग्रवाल मायंक कुमार यू आर राइट बी इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन Now the next is question number six, which says who has won International Booker Prize 2023? Your options are Paul Lynch, Giorgio Gasparino, Salman Rushdie, none of the above. ये बहुत important है ये सब पूछा जाता है International Booker Prize, Booker Prize, ठीक है? So that is why I discuss it. I repeat it because I know. इस तरह से पूछा गया कि Booker Prize is given in which field? ठीक है? उसमें से एक option था fiction तो वो answer था. ठीक है? So this type of question has also been asked. है ना? So international Booker Prize has been given to Giorgio uh, Gospodinov. So B is the right answer. He is a Bulgarian writer. ठीक है. And he has actually written the book Time Shelter in Bulgarian language, which has been translated into English by Angela Rodel. So this is a Bulgarian writer and translated uh, his. I mean, this is the novel is Time Shelter. So translated into English by Angela Rodel. So B is the right answer. कुछ लोग बोलेंगे सर Paul Lynch also. So Paul Lynch. Has written a book called Prophet Song, for which he has got Booker Prize. Be careful. This we are talking about is Booker Prize 2023. Or if international Booker Prize, if it is asked, if international Booker Prize is being asked, then the answer will be B. Okay. So be careful here. Okay. So here B is the right answer. Okay. Yes. And so Booker Prize 2023 given to uh, Paul Lynch for the book Prophet Song. Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next one. The question number seven: Which city is famous for chicken embroidery? Your options are Lucknow, Pune, Surat, Indore. So, what chicken embroidery? What is it? Embroidery. You understand? Zari ka kam is called zari in Urdu. They call it as uh, basically. Uh, you must have seen if you have uh, if you have seen the kurta pajama. So, especially in kurta, a lot of designs are also being made. Right? That's called as embroidery. So, chicken embroidery. Which is famous? Ah, uh, Omkar. Yes, Mayank, Banu Agarwal. You are right. You all are right. So it's actually Lucknow is famous for this. Uh, in fact, there are lot of uh, companies named Lucknow Chicken Art or something like that. Ah, na for uh, the textile decoration, embroidery work, and all. Ah, na. Um. So the right answer is A. Is the right answer? Yes, Banu Agarwal, Mayank, Omkar. You all are right. Uh, let's move on to the next one. What do you call the study of inscriptions? Paleography, numismatics, epigraphy, archaeology. इंस्क्रिप्शन समझते हैं जो ओल्ड टेक्स्ट वगैरह होता है ना दैट्स द आइडिया ऑफ इंस्क्रिप्शन इसको आप क्या कहोगे इसकी स्टडी को व्हाट इज द राइट आंसर द राइट आंसर यस मायंक कुमार यू आर राइट एपीग्राफी न्यूमेस्मेटिक्स जो है ना स्टडी ऑफ क्वाइंस को कहते हैं खास स्टडी ऑफ क्वाइंस सिक्का से रिलेटेड आर्कियोलॉजी तो पुरानी ओल्ड चीज को पढ़ने का ना आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट एंड ऑल But here, epigraphy is the most perfect one for inscription. So C is the right answer. Yes, Omkar, you all are right. Anna. So the study of inscription is called as epigraphy. It is a branch of archaeology. So this archaeology is a part of it, but a branch of epigraphy. Okay. So the most perfect answer is C. Okay. Okay. That is what you should be knowing. Archaeology is pure broad. Okay. Na. Sorry. Ancient things to learn. Archaeology. But specifically, if you are talking about inscription, then the answer would be epigraphy. So C is the right answer. Okay. So just have an idea about it. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Who is the founding member of Muslim League? Your options are Muhammad Ali Jinnah, Shaukat Ali, Nawab Khwaja Salimullah, Aga Khan. Muslim League ke founder ka naam batana. It was established, I think, around 1906. And who was the founder? So some people will say Muhammad Ali Jinnah. No, he is not the correct answer. What is the right answer? The right answer is option C. In fact, D was also there, but C was the most important person from Dhaka, or earlier called as Dekka in Bangladesh. So Nawab Khwaja Salimullah. So C is the right answer to this question. And so you can see, Nawab of Dhaka Khwaja Salimullah was the main person behind All India Muslim League formation and all. So C is the right answer to this question. ठीक है याद रखिएगा. Yes, Mayank Kumar, you are right. Uh, let's move on further <coughs> to the next one. देखो 1906 में स्टैब्लिश हुआ uh the next is a dash is gained when a bullet is fired upward vertically so they are asking questions from science this is a basic science question from class 7th 8th theek hai kya cheez gain agar bullet ko agar upar ki taraf fire karoge aise bandook leke jaise for example ye bata rahe na agar ye pistol yahan se fire kiye aur goli upar ki taraf gayi is goli mein kya cheez gain hoga kya loss hoga 
Yes, <coughs> the right answer is very good, Mayank Kumar. Uh, the right answer is C. Yes, Omkar, you all are right. देखो कभी भी कोई चीज जब हाइट पर होती है तो उसके में जो एनर्जी होती है एम जी एच हम लोग लिखते हैं ना पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ठीक है और स्पीड के कारण कोई भी चीज होती है तो हम उसको कैरेटिक एनर्जी कहते हैं आई होप यूर दीज आर बेसिक थिंग्स उसको हम लोग लिखते हैं हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर राइट दिस इज कैरेटिक एनर्जी तो आप देख सकते हो जैसे ये हाइट पर है बॉल तो जितने भी हाइट होगा मान ली एच हाइट है तो इस बॉल में जो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी होगा वो एम जो मास होगा इस बॉल का जी है ना स्मॉल जी एंड एच जो हाइट है आप स्मॉल जी समझ गए है ना 9.8 या 9.8 मीटर पर सेकंड स्क्वायर होता है है ना पोटेंशियल एनर्जी होता है इस पोजीशन पे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी क्या होगा जो इसकी वेलोसिटी होगी उसको चेक करना है और सॉरी कैनेटिक एनर्जी वेट ऑफ एंड सो कैनेटिक एनर्जी वुड बी हाफ एम वी स्क्वायर मास इनटू वेलोसिटी का स्क्वायर सो कैनेटिक एनर्जी तब आती है जब कोई चीज मूव कर रही होती है ना अदरवाइज वेलोसिटी जीरो हो जाएगी तो कैनेटिक एनर्जी जीरो हो जाएगी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज एसोसिएटेड विद हाइट ठीक है यहाँ पे तो दैट इज आई थिंक इट्स वेरी सिंपल सो सी इज द राइट आंसर नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज विच डिवाइड्स मोर आपको एंड स्पेन देखो ये बहुत पूछा जाता है स्ट्रेट्स वगैरह दे आर आस्किंग इट अलॉट है ना स्टेट ऑफ गिब्राल्टर स्टेट ऑफ मलाक्का स्टेट ऑफ फॉर्मो स्टेट ऑफ बॉस वॉट इज द राइट आंसर मोरक्को और स्पेन को कौन सा स्ट्रेट डिवाइड करता है वॉट इज द राइट आंसर Yes, the right answer is straight of Gibraltar. Yes, my uncle Kumar, you are right. Is the right answer. Okay. So well, let me show you some of the important states. So, first of all, this is Mediterranean Sea. Ah, <coughs> no, this is Atlantic Ocean. This is Mediterranean Sea. Okay. So these two are actually connected. Here, per hai, you will get straight of Gibraltar. Milega. Okay. और दिस इज कनेक्टेड सो आप कह सकते हैं स्टेट ऑफ गिराल्टर कनेक्ट अटलांटिक एंड मेडिटेरियन सी अटलांटिक ओशन मेडिटेन सी एंड ऑल्सो स्पेन एंड मोराको ठीक है ओके सो दैट वॉज द क्वेश्चन मलक्का हॉर्मोस बॉस्फोरस ये तीनों बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो आई डिस्कस ऑल दो यस ओमकार भानु अग्रवाल समर्थ यू वाला राइट अब है स्टेट ऑफ मलक्का कहाँ पे देखो यहाँ पर इंडिया है दिस इज चाइना ये मलेशिया है देखो ये साउथ चाइना सी है यहाँ पे इंडियन ओशन है तो यहाँ पे ये वाला जो है ना दिस वन This one is called as Malacca Strait. Very important. Almost more than 200 ships crosses from here per day. Malacca Strait. Very important. Okay. Then, then, uh, then, 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 यहाँ पे कतर है ना सो इफ यू वांट टू गो टू कतर या लाइक दिस तो ये वाला जो हिस्सा जो क्रॉस करना है ये दिस वन दिस इज कॉल्ड स्ट्रेट ऑफ होर्मोस ओके ठीक है तो पूछते हैं स्ट्रेट ऑफ होर्मोस कनेक्ट्स विच टू वाटर बॉडी सो पर्शियन गल्फ इज गल्फ ऑफ ओमान देखो ये वाला गल्फ ऑफ ओमान है दिस इज गल्फ ऑफ ओमान दिस इज पर्शियन गल्फ सो बोथ आर कनेक्टेड थ्रू स्ट्रेट ऑफ होर्मोस ठीक है इज इट क्लियर ये भी काफी स्ट्रेटेजिकली इंपॉर्टेंट है वाइट इज स्ट्रेटेजिकली इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑल द ऑयल्स आर एक्चुअली फाउंड इन दिस रीजन इसी रीजन में पाया जाता है जब भी कोई शिप निकले कि पेट्रोल लेके तो ऐसे ही जाएगी ओके बिकॉज इन दिस रीजन यू विल फाइंड पेट्रोल ऑयल नेचुरल गैस नॉट ऑन द वेस्टर्न साइड ऑफ अरब सऊदी अरब के ईस्टर्न साइड में जनरली आपको पेट्रोल नेचुरल गैस मिलेगा ठीक है <coughs> फिर है और कौन सा है मुझे के बॉस्फोरा स्टेट दिखाते हैं दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ये मेडिटेरेनियन सी है दिस इज ब्लैक सी ठीक है तो मेरे ट्रेन सी से अगर को ब्लैक सी जाना है सो यू हैव टू क्रॉस टू स्टेट्स द फर्स्ट अगर आप यहां से आ रहे हो मेरे ट्रेन सी से सो यू हैव टू गो दिस ठीक है और एक ये सो ये वो जो है स्टेट ऑफ डार्डेनिल्स कहते हैं और इसको कहते हैं बॉस्फोरस स्टेट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड बॉस्फोरस स्टेट पर ही आपको इस्तांबुल मिलेगा वेरी फेमस सिटी ऑफ टर्की ठीक है सो दैट इज वॉट सो इट कनेक्ट एक्चुअली ब्लैक सी विद यहां पर सी ऑफ मरमरा है छोटा सा यू कैन से Okay, that is what you should be knowing it. So here the right answer is Bosphorus. Uh, okay, okay. So let's move on further. एक और मैं बता तो एक दौर बता देता हूँ because sometimes they are asked. एक है श्रीलंका और इंडिया के बीच में ये पूछा था last year. This is Park Street. ठीक है ना between India and Sri Lanka. ठीक है. That is also you should be knowing it. Uh, एक दौर बता देते हैं. This is in the news. So Red Sea is connected with Arabian Sea. यहाँ पे Gulf of Aden है, है ना? और यहाँ पर है. Here you will find 
स्ट्रेट ऑफ बाब अल मंदब बाब अल मंदब ठीक है इट इज ऑल्सो इन द न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ ये मैन हाउ थी रेबल्स एंड ऑल इन दिस रीजन अटैकिंग द शिप्स द लास्ट वन देखो दिस इज रशिया दिस इज कैनेडा दिस इज यूएसए ठीक है तो ये भी यूएसए का हिस्सा है दिस इज कॉल्ड एज अलास्का विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ यूएसए सो इस दोनों के बीच में जो यहां पर है दिस इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एज बेरिंग स्टेट एंड बेरिंग स्टेट यू विल फाइंड इट इन पैसेफिक ओशन ठीक है ये वाला पूरा पैसेफिक ओशन है ठीक है सो समाइम्स बेरिंग स्टेट इज ऑल्सो आज बेरिंग सी बी है ना यहाँ पे सो बेरिंग स्टेट इज देर ओके okay if you are watching this class under under the description box one on one counseling session is there so click on this link you will get this google form and everyone should fill this google form okay okay uh, let's move on to the next one the suez canal connects which two water body red sea and arabian sea red sea and mediterranean sea atlantic and pacific ocean black sea and red sea what is the right answer kya sahi jawab hai nikhil if there will be any, any update we will inform you theek hai ha suez canal kaun se do water body ko connect karta hai anyone So this canal connects which two water body? Uh, yes, the right answer is Red Sea and Mediterranean Sea. So B is the right answer, है ना? ये Red Sea है. This is Mediterranean Sea, है ना? और यहाँ पर Egypt में you will find so this canal, Egypt. ठीक है? Yes, B is the right answer. Yes, Vanu Agarwal, Samad, Pavitra, you all were right. एक और है Panama Canal. ये भी बता देता हूँ. So here you will find Panama Canal. This is Atlantic Ocean. This is आप let's say this is Europe. ठीक है? This is USA. You want to go in the west coast, just like we have done in Los Angeles, Jana. So with the ship, so you first went like this, people. So long route, right? So now uh, after 1914, uh, um, actually they go like this shortcut, right? So here you will get Panama Canal. Milega. Panama is the country, right? So which connects actually Atlantic with Pacific. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next one. How many banks were nationalized in second round of nationalization in 1980? देखो दो बार famous nationalization हुआ है. One happened in 1969, another happened in 1980. तो इन first round of में 14 banks were nationalized. And in second round, how many banks were nationalized? Anyone? बताइए. So six banks were nationalized, है ना? So here the right answer is B is the right answer to this question. ठीक है? And in '69, में uh, 14 major private banks, and in '1980, में six more private banks were nationalized. Nationalized means a reverse of privatization. It was taken over by the government. That's the idea. So B is the right answer. ठीक है. The next is LPG reforms. देखो इस रे क्वेश्चन आता है. Happen in the year '96, '94, '95, '99. क्या बोला था LPG reforms? Liberalization, privatization, globalization reforms happened when? कब हुआ था एलपीजी रिफॉर्म्स द राइट आंसर इज 1991 जो इन 1991 में एक्चुअली वी हैव फेस्ड बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट क्राइसिस व्हेन एक्चुअली फॉरेन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व ऑफ इंडिया हैव गॉन डाउन एंड दैट इज व्हाई वी वेंट टू आईएमएफ टू टेक द हेल्प ये भी पूछा है ना कि व्हेन देयर इज अ बैलेंस ऑफ पेमेंट क्राइसिस व्हिच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हेल्प्स सो आईएमएफ हेल्प्स है ना एंड आईएमएफ पुट द कंडीशन दैट यू हैव टू ओपन द इकॉनमी and that is why in 1991 we have decided to open the economy by liberalization privatization and globalization okay yes the right answer is c yes very good omkar bhano pavitra anandi you all were right now the <coughs> the thing is uh, who was the prime minister of india when the npg reforms happened in india mr manmohan singh mr pv narasimha rao mr deve gowda mr chaudhry charan singh jab 1991 mein liberalization privatization globalization hua to india ke prime minister kon the aapko batana hai Yes, P. V. Narasimha Rao. In fact, he was the finance minister at that time, uh, who later became the prime minister of India. Anna. So here, B is the right answer. Yes, Maya Kumar, Om Kar, you are right. B is the right answer. Uh, if you are watching this class, twenty fourth March, eleven a.m., we'll be having a scholarship test. If you qualify, you will get up to ninety percent off. And on seventeenth March at eleven a.m., we'll be having a live interactive workshop with Sir Nawaz Sir, Cat twenty twenty four, how to manage preparation with job studies. And 21st March को 7 PM पे we'll be having CAT 2024 uh, game changer VRC and all है ना? 
Then uh, 31st March to 11 MPEG at 2024, road map to 99th percentile with Sitna Master. Okay. The famous hill station Kodai Canal is situated where? Nilgiri, Cardamom, Palani, Javadi. Where exactly? Uh, where do we find it? Bazai. I know it was a tough question. Um, but uh, still, if you try it, I'll be happy. The right answer is Palani Hills. Okay. So uh, the right answer is C is the right answer. Okay. Palani Hills. This is the state of Tamil Nadu. Somewhere here you will find Palani Hills. Okay. Yes, C is the right answer. Uh, Nilgiri ka pata hona chahi, Eastern Ghats and Western Ghat meets here. Ye bhi kai baar puchte exam mein, thik hai? The Western Ghats and Eastern Ghat meets somewhere here. Yaha pe aapko Nilgiri Hills milega, thik hai? The place where Eastern and Western Ghat meets. The oldest biosphere reserve of India, na? Ye sabhi puchte hai, thik hai? Okay, uh, the next is foundation of modern education system was uh, laid down by Macaulay's Minute 1835, Hunter Commission 1882, Charter Act 1813, Woods Dispatch 1854. बताइए तो मॉडर्न एजुकेशन सिस्टम का कॉन्सेप्ट ये भी काफी फेमस क्वेश्चन है द राइट आंसर इज ए मैकॉलेज मिनट एक्चुअली थॉमस डॉमेंटम मैकॉले के अंडर कमिटी बनाई गई थी ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ लॉर्ड विलियम बेंटिंग सो व्हेन विलियम बेंटिंग वाज द गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया और वाइस रॉय ऑफ इंडिया ही एक्चुअली द गवर्नर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया ही सेट अप अ कमिटी लेड बाय हिम and uh, Thomas Macaulay committee gave a lot of recommendation. In fact, one of them led to the establish uh, the concept of Indian Penal Code 1860 was formed as a result of that. Usi mein English Education Act banaya gaya, theek hai? So, aaj jo pura English system hai, yani, uh, English teaching and all, all these are actually the base is here. A is the right answer, theek hai, to this question. Yes, Pavitra, you all are right. So, A is the right answer, theek hai. Uh, the next is question 16. Consider the following statement regarding ocean currents. The heat fishing ground of the world exists mainly in the mixing exist exist already mainly in uh, mixing zones of warm and cold ocean currents. The next is gravity is one of the factor influencing ocean currents. Uh, identify the correct statement. One only correct, both one and two. Two only correct, both one and two are incorrect. What is the right answer? It's asking about uh, the whole, uh, the warm and cold ocean current. What is the right answer? Yes, Mayank Kumar, right. Omkar, yes. Both are correct, actually. Okay, let me tell you what exactly it is saying. The go hot ocean current, hota, this goes away from equator. Just we read in Gulf Stream, Norwegian Stream, they are going away, away. Hai na? Mozambique, Agal, uh, Agulhas, Korosio current, East Australian current, the red ones, hai, Brazilian current. And the blue ones, hai, they are coming near to equator. Dekhro, Californian current, Peru current, Calorie current, Bengaluru current. Hai na? अब जहाँ पर hot and warm यानी cold and warm current meets देखो यहाँ पर मिलता है, ठीक है? On the east coast of Canada, यहाँ पे देखो Oyasho and Korosho यहाँ पे मिल रहा है। So the place where hot and cold current meets, this is a uh, breeding ground for actually what? Fish. ये बताओ ना चाहिए, this is important for fish. Uh, दूसरा बोल रहा है, gravity is one of the factors influencing ocean current. Of course, gravity do affect. उसका best example है counter equatorial current, देखो एक current होता है। जैसे इक्वेटोरियल करंट जाता है ना तो फिर इसको जब यहां पे जमा होता है पानी तो ये वापस क्रॉस जाता है रिवर्स तो यहां पे होगा काउंटर इक्वेटोरियल करंट इसको कहते हैं इस डायरेक्शन में एंड दिस इज अफेक्टेड विद ग्रेविटी एंड आल्सो बोथ आर एक्चुअली करेक्ट सो बी इज द राइट आंसर ठीक है द नेक्स्ट इज व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी इन इंडिया मिक्स केयर सेबी बार्क क्रेडिट रेटिंग अब आपने लॉजिक लगाओ भाभा एटॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर दिस इज रिलेटेड विद एटॉमिक रिसर्च तो क्रेडिट रेटिंग इकोनॉमिक्स में कहां आ जाएगा यहां तो ये होगा नहीं अगर को से भी सिक्योरिटीज एंड एक्सचेंज बोर्ड ऑफ इंडिया दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज अ रेगुलेटरी बॉडी टू रेगुलेट द स्टॉक मार्केट्स इन इंडिया इट इज नॉट क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी एज सच तो ये भी नहीं होगा केयर का अगर आपने किसी ने नाम सुना होगा तो आपको पता होगा अब इज द राइट आंसर तो दिस क्वेश्चन है ना केयर की क्रेडिट रेटिंग होना फिच होता है क्राइसेल होता है ऐसे अपने नाम सुना होगा यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड दीस नेम्स ऑफ क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी सो ये सब कुछ पता होना चाहिए जाके गूगल सर्च कीजिए फेमस क्रेडिट रेटिंग एजेंसी इन इंडिया रीड समथिंग अबाउट बॉम्बे स्टॉक एक्सचेंज नेशनल स्टॉक एक्सचेंज ये सब पढ़िए थोड़ा सा ठीक है Yes. Uh, which of the following cities will host 2030 World Expo? Riyadh, Osaka, New Delhi, Beijing. So now we are moving towards some current affairs as well. Bataiye. 2030 World Expo kaha hoga? Anyone? The right answer is Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia. So A is the right answer to this question. Take care. Take care.
Uh, the next one uh, uh, beats, uh, beats Italy, South Korea. The next one is which India? Ye bahut important. Which Indian city has been added in UNESCO Creative Cities Network in literature category? Madurai, Kosi, Kot, Mysore, Kurnool. What is the right answer? UNESCO Creative Cities Network in literature category. Which city has been added? Yes, the right answer is Kozi Court in Kerala. Hana. So B is the right answer. So UNESCO's Creative City Network mein, do cities India se add ki ki. One is uh, Madhya Pradesh, Gwalior in the music category and Kerala's Kozi Court in the literature category. Ye dono yaad so please remember it. Star Market. This is very, 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 very important. I'm star marking it. Okay. Yes. Kozi Kodi ka old name is Kali Kut, The place where actually uh, the Vasco da Gama came hana, from Portugal and all. You must have heard it. So B is the right answer here. Yes, both are logan answer here. Cozy code, very good. Anna. Okay, uh, the next one is what was the name of Air India's AI powered chatbot assistant to introduce generative AI virtual agent? SkyMate, Cloud Talk, Maharaja AI Jet. Matab AI chatbot hai, ek se. Air India ne launch kiya hai. So, you know, the mascot of Air India, kya hai? Air India ka mascot kya hai? Maharaja. Anna. So C can upper AI powered chatbot B. So C is the right answer to this question. Here is Maharaja. Anna. Okay, so C is the right answer. Launched by Chat GPT, yes. And powered by Chat GPT. Anna. So C is the right answer. Yes, Omkar, Mayank, you all are right. Uh, the next is who has been selected for 2023 such a such a G3 lifetime achievement award at 54th IFFI held at Goa. Antonio Gates, Carlos Sora, Mario Camus, Michael Douglas. What is the right answer? The right answer is D. Michael Douglas is the right answer to this question. Okay. Now you can see it. answer You all were right. This answer D. Hai. Michael Douglas is the right answer. Uh, the next is exercise. Mitra Shakti 2023 is an annual joint military exercise conducted between which two countries? Which countries? India and US, Russia and France, India and Bangladesh, India and Sri Lanka. What is the right answer? Yes, it will. in the beginning of the class, I have discussed uh, the previous uh, about the previous videos. So, you can see it. Go to the first minute of the class and watch it. I have explained what uh, the previous videos to watch. Okay. The right answer is the India and Sri Lanka ke beech, uh, exercise method Shakti happened. And now you can see these images. So, D is the right answer. Yes, Mayan Kumar, you are right. Uh, which city hosted Asia's largest open air annual trade fair, Bali Jatra? Katak, Patna, Prayagraj, Kanpur. Hi, so pehle ka D answer tha. Yes, Omkar, Pavitra, you all were right. Asia's largest open air trade fair, Bali Jatra. So Katak in Odisha. So A is the right answer to this question. Take care. Yes, very good. Huh? Mayank, Omkar, you all were right. And Bali Jatra ke hum dekh sakte hain. It is considered as uh, one of Asia's largest open trade year held in Odisha. Uh, the next is who has become the fourth Indian to be honored with Pakistan's highest civilian award in Nishani, Pakistan. So like we have Bharat Ratan, the highest civilian award in India. So very similar to that, the Pakistan gives Nishani, Pakistan. So the fourth Indian to get uh, this highest civilian award is the right answer is option B, Dr. Sayyidana Mafadul Saifuddin. So B is the right answer. Uh, he is a head of Daudi Bohra sect of Islam. Okay. So, you can see him. He has been given Nishan Pakistan. And uh, you can see his photos with uh, PM Prime Minister as well. Uh, the next is question number 25. Who has become the first Indian to win International Emmy Award for Best Comedy? Your options are R. Madhavan, Vicky Kaushal, Veer Das, Arman Malik. What is the right answer to this question? First Indian to win International Emmy Award for Best Comedy. Yes, Veer Das is the right answer. Yes, Mayan Kumar Omkar, you all are right. Anna. Veer Das landing is for, for the stand up special Veer Das landing. And first Indian to artist to win this. So star mark Karli Jesko. Anna. Uh, the next one is given for Pan Lijak, it is given by home and all. Anna. Uh, the next is in which country 
will ICC men's under 19 cricket world cup be organized? India, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Australia. ICC men's under 19 cricket world cup 2024. Where will The right answer is B. South Africa is the right answer to this question. Okay. Earlier it was supposed to happen in Sri Lanka, but Sri Lanka got suspended by ICC and that is why it is happening now in South Africa. Yes, Omkar, Maya, you all are right. Huh? Uh, the next is, which is the partner state of the 42nd edition of India International Trade Fair 2023? What is the right answer? Right answer is C. Bihar and Kerala is the right answer to this question. Okay, so I just have an idea. And the theme is Vasudev Kutumbakam. So C is the right answer. Anna. So Bihar, Jharkhand, Kerala is the partner state and focus state is UP, Delhi, Maharashtra, Jammu and Kashmir. Uh, the next is the martyrdom day of which Sikh Guru was observed in the month of November as Shaheed Divas. Guru Tegh Bahadur, Guru Haru Gobind, uh, Guru Gobind uh, Singh, uh, Guru Ram Das. What is the right answer? The right answer is option A. Guru Tegh Bahadur is the right answer to this question. Take it. Yes, A is the right answer. Yes, Omkar, you are right. Huh? A is the right answer. Uh, which who received Best Actor Award at Stars Asian International Film Festival? Leonardo DiCaprio, Ishwak Singh, Jokin, Fodandiras. What is the right answer? Best Actor Award at Stars Asian International Film Festival. The right answer is B. Ishwak Singh. Yes, Mike. Very good. B is the right answer to this question. Okay. Uh, the next is which of the following West Indies player has been handed a six-year ban from all forms of cricket by ICC? Kirk McKenzie, Marlon Samuels, Alec Athanas, Devan Thomas. What is the right answer? Six years banned for a, a West Indies player. Which one is being talked about? Yes, the right answer is option B again, Marlon Samuels. Okay. Anna. So, this is for violating anti-corruption code. Anna. So, B is the right answer to this question. Okay. So, if you are watching this class, go to the description box. There is one-on-one -on -one counseling session. Click on this link. You will get this Google form. Everyone should fill this Google form. And this is the MHCT specialized course. And download our app. Go to CAT section. You will get to know about CAT forest predictor and all. And uh, please subscribe to our channel. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Telegram and download the Baiju's exam prep app. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.